So let's say they f***ed up. Something happens. Maybe in the photographer's world, your, your photos don't come out. The best thing that you can do, the best thing that you can do as a professional in anything is to own up to it. Try to make it right to the best of your ability. And if you can't do anything for it, if you can't make anything better, like you, maybe you broke the SD card, you dropped it in, in your drink, and you're like, that was a dumb, dumb thing. I can't fix it. So how can you make amends to, let's say, your client? It's just, just own up to it and, and learn from it. It sucks. You're going to have to have a conversation that you're not going to want to have. But having that conversation and saying, I f***ed up, I'm very sorry, here's what we can do about it and try to make amends in, in whatever way makes sense for you. Uh, this is something that I have done since forever, not even just in photography, but uh, when I used to work in customer service, one of the first times where, where I would do this a lot and own up to things that had nothing to do with me. I'd have people call up and they were having technical issues and I was level zero, I think they called it level zero, level, level one. Uh, tech support, which which is basically triage. So they'd say, hey, we have an issue with this thing. And so I get the base information, their contact information, and I get them to the right department um, or have the department call them back. But so many times when this would happen, they would come into the situation where like, their servers are down and their business is impacted and so they can't do business maybe they lost information uh, or their customers can't do their business because they're using the servers that the company that i worked for was running and selling and all that so they're at their wits end and so they can't rely on somebody else like oh we'll call you back and so even though I didn't have any technical background to be like, oh, this is server A, okay, let me dial in and, and do some some fancy hijinks and, and kind of fix it on my end. I didn't have that skill set. I didn't have that authority. Uh, but what I could do, and this is what anybody can do, is I see the problem. I see the person at the other end of the phone, or it might be your client, that and say, okay, this is what I can do. I'm gonna stay with you. you. You stay on the line. I promise I'll get back to you. Uh, and what's your telephone number so that I can, if I get disconnected, I will call you right back. Uh, and letting them know that you're with them, that you're there to help problem solve for them. And even if it wasn't your fault, it's like, hey, I didn't do it, but let me solve it for you. Let me do what I can for you. Even if I can't solve it, let me, in the case of this customer service thing, let me get you on the line with somebody who could. So I was able to, in a lot of cases, elevate stuff and do like a warm transfer, even if it wasn't necessarily the the operating guideline, the OG, it wasn't necessarily what we were supposed to do. I might know the guy uh, over in level two support, where whatever number it was, and so I could call him up and be like, hey, Rick, listen, there's there's this guy. He's having a big problem. And, you know, can you help him? And then having that partner that the customer doesn't feel like they're alone. It doesn't feel like they're left out in the cold uh, because they're dealing with all sorts of other stuff. So this is one of the biggest soft skills and soft skills are are if you don't know they're the skills that are kind of hard to define they're not like oh i can i'm great with photoshop or i'm great with uh, wood carving or i can i know the act of photography i know all the technicals of how to take a good shot and get the exposure and the composition and everything that's a hard skill that's kind of like a defined skill some of the soft skills are the things that are kind of indefinable um it, like the ability to take ownership of something and fix it to the level that you can. And that has proved to be very powerful for me uh, and not just, you know, customer service, but uh, even as a manager, uh, you know, there's been so many times where unfortunately, if one of my own people uh, kind of screwed something up, I'd have to take the ownership of it and, and fix it. But it's not even that. Like a lot of times they wouldn't have the ability or knowledge on how to fix it. Um, but, but having that willingness 
it might not even be somebody on my team. There's times where I was on a team and then another team member dropped the ball on something that had absolutely nothing to do with me. They were in a very different specialty. And it's like, well, I'm a person that can kind of figure stuff out. We need a solution. So let's, it doesn't matter whose fault it is. Let's just run with it. Let's just fix it. What's the problem? And there's no like pointing of fingers. And I think that's a, a problem that people have is that it's like, well, it wasn't me. Uh, and, and that becomes an issue to a point where if you don't take the ownership, if you're trying to turn your photography into a business, if you're not used to taking that ownership, it's going to be hard when something happens and you need to have that uncomfortable conversation with your client. If you've kind of practiced this behavior in the past, then when something like that happens, when your SD card drops in the water, it's like, Jesus, how the f did I do that? Like what? what happened if that's the case then you're not as impacted it still impacts you as a person as a professional but it doesn't destroy you and one of the things too that is very important to remember inexperience is not ineptitude if you make a mistake let's say that it is you that made the mistake and you need to to kind of correct it if something happens once it's a mistake if it happens again, that's not a mistake anymore. That's oversight. You didn't learn your lesson uh, with the mistake. Now, whatever that means, like maybe, maybe uh, with the the case of like dropping a SD card in water, I have learned SD cards don't like water, and I shouldn't do that. So I shouldn't have water near me when I'm taking my SD card out of the camera. And this has never happened, by the way. <laughs> it's just an example that I just kind of thought of. If I break the SD card some other way. I didn't learn the full lesson of take um, like take so much care and, and gentle thought when it comes to SD cards. And like, it's not just about the water, it's what happened to the SD card. It's like, I don't know how else to, cause this is a really bad example, but um, you get the idea. Taking ownership of stuff, a mistake happens once, then it's no longer a mistake, that's you Un, not being intentional about making sure things are, are fixed. Anyway, this came about because there was a, a little issue with the shoot that happened on uh, last week. So I had to have an uncomfortable conversation with the client. Um, and, you know, it's it's not the type of representation that I want to have. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. It's, um, it's a learning experience. And... Um, you know, as long as I move on from it, then it's uh, it's not wasted effort. It sucks. It sucks when stuff like this happens. These things happen. And being able to, to brush it off and say, okay, how can I make this right? This is what I can do. And then moving on and, and continuing to be professional, that's the important thing. So if you're trying to do this, if you're trying to build, if you're trying to become a photographer, these are the kinds of things that you you need to be ready to discuss with your clients and and have that air of confidence with i am your partner remember that video that i did about partnership before so that's it that's it for today another quick one because it is the end of the day it's at like 8 30 or 9 o'clock my time so i gotta get this puppy up uh, because this is day 16 of authenticity so we only have a few more days left uh, so until next time be good to each other